What's up America? This is Kim with Geographimes Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to check out two products from one of our favorite companies, Core Essentials. So let's get started. <laughs> Normally when you think about Core, you think about their track line belts, but they also have these new sunglasses. They're the Recon, they're ballistic, polarized sunglasses. And these are not normal flimsy sunglasses. These are hardy ones that Neil needs because he often breaks his or loses them. <laughs> and you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in my car right now. And that is because it has a really cool feature. They fold up and they have a magnet and it comes with a special strip so you can stick it right on your visor, which is really handy. And the magnet is so strong, you can stick it on pretty much anything that's metal. Besides for uh, the magnet sticking to other metal things, it also sticks to itself so that they close nice and steady. So you could even clip it on your clothes. So. And it stays connected. Completely protect you from UVA and UVB. They're also smudge, scratch, and anti-reflective from the inside. And they're also salt re uh, water resistant on the outside. They have also been tested to stop projectiles up to 700 feet per second. They're also magnet safe, so the magnet field actually goes away from your body. One thing these guys come with is like this uh, felt line cup deal, which uh, if you were gonna throw this in type of some type of bag of some sort, uh, this would be pretty cool. It'll kind of just screws together like a thermos. I found that these are pretty, pretty protective. I don't know that you can really break them or the canister. I think I broke them. All right, let's see. I think they're broken nope not so much so i've uh, i've been wearing these pretty uh, exclusively now for i don't know probably going on three months you can actually if you zoom in here or you look in here you're gonna kind of see wick wear where it rubs on my face and i get sun spray on it and all this other crap and if you really look closely these are they're beat they're really beat and i'll tell you some the positives and some of the negatives if you look on the lens you'll see right here right in front of my finger there you're gonna see a little scratch there um, I'll be the first to tell you I'm very rough on glasses and I would probably never buy glasses like these not because I don't think they're awesome but because I'm gonna lose them and break them up and all this so I've been very impressed they've, they've definitely been they've been abused and used thoroughly I would say that uh, if I could give any improvement the scratch resistance on the outer side I would like that to be a little better because uh, I don't know what the rating is you can probably look at all the technical technicalities it's definitely tougher than regular standard like uh, Iron Man or Oakley's or whatever but uh, for ballistic glasses I, that's the one thing I would say it could be improved it would be how scratch resistant it is that said it is pretty smudge resistant I, I haven't had any issues with that uh, the one thing that you'll take away from these glasses is that it, it's like it feels like something that's not glasses it, it they're just so heavy and thick and robust it's it's uh, something you just got to kind of hold in your hand and go wow i mean even when we look even though it's got this thick um plastic whatever the material is actually made out of it does have a lot of flex to it so like look if i flex this not really a big deal it goes right back to its same shape um it's got pretty beefy screws that hold the the arm that hold the arm onto the uh actual sunglass lens it appears to me and I, i'm no uh engineer on uh sunglasses but it appears like these frames are all like one solid piece i don't even know how those lenses fit in there but whatever i can tell you that they are by far without question the most robust sunglasses uh that are or ballistic glasses for that matter other than a actual helmet that i've ever ever had another thing uh these are are polarized and so sometimes like you'll notice when you look in your rear view uh window and stuff like that you'll see kind of that weird pattern uh, if you look in the sky sometimes it kind of shifts colors but these seem pretty solid um, you don't get as much pattern color change with these uh, polarizations as i've seen in other glasses so from that perspective uh these are rock solid let's talk about one more product that core is known for and that is belts some of the best belts in the business no no questions about it this is their new 2.0 uh, tactical belt it's a gun belt they do make fashion belts i don't care about those never touched them i don't know i'm sure they're great Gun belts is where I'm at. So, and this is that new, um, their older version has it too, but it's it's like a nylon webbing material. Um, it's really nice. It comes in a, a variety of different shades. Core has come a, come a long, long way. But where we're really gonna talk about what really changed a lot is the new attachment system. And I'm gonna show you up close here in a minute. 
we still have the good old-fashioned uh, track line that they're known for you get that beautiful little clicking sound it's locked in tight very very tight it's got a very quick and easy adjustment you just press up and slide it down um, each adjustments a quarter a quarter of an inch and I can't tell you how long that goes when it comes to comfort wearing gear they also have a garrison 1.75 inch belt and this is an absolute tank uh, I'm gonna be running this through a uh, battle belt that I have um, but it is it's uh, I'll, I'll give you a comparison in thickness between the two uh, it's certainly got a lot more surface space on it so that, that color contrast should pop up pretty easy same other features thick uh, proprietary core inside the core c-o-r-e right uh, let's talk a couple things about these buckles so i'm going to show these up i don't know what the material is core gave me a lot of information but i'm not exactly sure i would say it's as close to like an automotive uh powder coat again i'm sure that's way off but that's what it feels like and looks like um i feel like if i had to i could just use it as a hammer but look at the uh we have some new new screws which we're going to talk about uh, the the uh, release heavy duty spring inside there the buckle i'll take this one off because i didn't lock this one all the way down yet pretty easy to take on and off you can see the the teeth on that i'll put my finger here so you can kind of focus it on the camera but those teeth are serious business and when they stick into the belt they stick into the belt so i'm typically not the most detailed on this stuff i can just tell you from experience whether i think it's good or not but a couple of things that i think are important the um the tactical in the garrison belt that's uh, again the 1.5 and this one point i'm sorry 1.5 and the 1.75 uh the belts have a nylon web web uh, outer layer that's rated to 500 pounds and then a super inner layer uh, for water protection and they all have a power core center with is a proprietary bend and there is blend and there is a uh, the camera's sorry not gonna pick it up but there's a patent number on the back of this uh, guy patent pending so uh, they're, they're working on some really cool stuff, it appears. So let me tell you about some user experience that I found because I almost ruined this belt. Darn it. Typical guy. I don't read instructions a lot. That's stupid. Read instructions. But I have so many core belts that I didn't even think twice about it. I already know the measurement. The numbers are marked inside here. It's not going to show up on film. They're just, they're just like imp imprinted in the color. Um, so I just did my normal cut. Here's the problem. I'm gonna give you a little close-up here now I don't know how I mean core obviously does it much better when I cut it, it's all janky and whatnot but typically you have these teeth you run your core belt let's go this way the way it's supposed to go inside here like this and then you lock down the teeth okay and that's how core belts have been for a very long long time and I've never had an issue I've never had them bust off um, maybe some people have and so they decided to improve it even more I got to give it to core because they're always innovating so now, as you can see, there's these two screws, all right? So you back these out, I think they're five, 30 seconds, I don't know exact, but you get a little Allen wrench. You back these out, and then you slide this in. Here's how I almost ruined this belt. I went, cut it like I normally do, stuck it in there, and then I realized that instead of stopping to about here where it normally would, give it a shake, it goes all the way into the buckle now. See, all the way, well, these screws are backed in. It's gonna slide all the way up inside there, and then you, put the teeth in first I did it backwards I don't know if it matters but first couple of times so you put the teeth in first and then you just tighten down these screws and uh, I have I don't know how in life that's ever going to come off on you so that is, is about as robust as it gets here's a close-up as well on the actual mechanism it looks like it's two pieces that are connected like that's how your buckle would actually connect but that's not it's one solid piece of pretty heavy metal I don't know what it is but it's super strong i figured by now if you buy your belt you can cut it and look at it yourself so even though it's some proprietary inner thing this is what it looks like all right that's the actual power core that's inside this belt that evidently is uh is uh patented or patent pending one of the two what it does is it provides an extremely rigid belt there's no way that you can collapse these i mean you can't there's just it's super super solid and that's exactly what you want with a good quality belt so that your holster and everything stays the same so when you try to get a good grip on your gun you only get one shot at that 
um, everything stays exactly where you want it to be. We also forgot to mention that that little visor attachment is just Velcro, so it's not gonna damage your car. If you guys like these products, you can check them out. We'll put some links below. We even have a discount code. You can put Giaga for 10% off. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like, share, comment. We always love to hear from you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. You can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.